Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to your morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. We have an update to bring you this morning on a news report that we brought you last night. We have some new updates involving that news report that we brought you last night. Take a look at this photo right here. AG's office reports man arrested in connection to homicide in Sandown. The Attorney General's office announced Wednesday night that an arrest had been made in connection with a suspicious death investigation in Sandown. Police responded to 48 Phillips Wood Road for a report of a woman who had died around 1 a.m. Wednesday. The woman was identified as Eileen Irish, 88. An autopsy was conducted by New Hampshire's Chief Medical Examiner. The Chief Medical Examiner determined the cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head and the manner of death was a homicide. Irish's grandson, Patrick Irish, 42, was arrested and charged with second-degree murder. He had been living at the home with his grandmother. Police said Patrick Irish was the one who called police. Patrick Irish was seen leaving the Sandown Police Department in state police custody Monday night. He is expected to be arraigned December 12th today at Rockingham County Superior Court in Bretton Wood. A close friend to Eileen Irish described her as very active in someone who always had something going on. The friend said she spoke to Irish at about 5.45 p.m. Tuesday and everything seemed normal. She said Irish was looking forward to a senior luncheon this week and planned to dress up for the occasion. Neighbors said Patrick Irish moved in a few months ago and one neighbor described the relationship between Eileen Irish and her grandson as loving. I just can't believe it. I wish things were different. I wish we would have known. Just think of that poor lady and so hopeful, hopeless, one neighbor said. Residents said they didn't see or notice anything amiss until police arrived. The investigation remains ongoing and officials said additional information will be released as it becomes available. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact Sergeant Kelly of the New Hampshire State Police at 603 628-8477. And that is it for my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.